So let's give you a quick idea of what's going on. You'll see four dogs, four handlers enter the ring now. One dog goes round. Obviously, we're looking for four clears. Uh, the bat changes well. It's like a, uh, a relay, a relay run, but with a dog. Four clears takes a little bit of doing. I've had it twice in my uh, commentary career here at Crufts, and I've been here a while. It doesn't happen very often, but we are starting on the smalls, as you can see. We've already done the medium and the larger the other previous two days. That's that little one at the end looking at me. Wow. So, our first team to go should be the Donyat Dinkies. Any Donyat Dinky supporters in? Fantastic. And our first person to go is Jody. Jody Forbes, working Bramble Border Terrier, seven years of age. As you can hear, a very quiet dog. So, up over the A-frame, if you're new to agility, we need the contacts on the down and the up, the white bits are painted on the A-frame, and the seesaw, and the dog walk. So they're working their way up towards the wheeze. First pole's always on the dog's left. Beautiful, beautiful. Bramble having a good old bark there. We're coming across the middle of the arena now. Switch inside. Just a little bit of time there, but we're back in line now for the seesaw. Up onto the seesaw. We're coming down towards this finishing straight. We're in the tunnel. We're on the dog walk any minute now. I get another white turn. We've got two to go. Can we start off with the first clear? First clear in the team coming up, maybe. Back change coming up now. Here's the back change. And Emma's away. It's Emma Atri. And Emma's working. Dolly, working Cocker Spaniel, six years of age. And they're already up at the A-frame. So at the moment we're looking all right. We've got a nice clear to kick them off. So back into that tunnel. It's like a loop, tunnel jump loop. Into the tunnel again and onto the weaves. So we're in the weaves. Nice set of weaves. Dog working nice on the right hand side. Going for another one where we're going towards the other obstacle. But we're all right. We're all coming round a 14 the wall. Up onto the seesaw. Here we go on the seesaw. And we're down the other side. We're in the tunnel. As you can see, we're on the far end of the tunnel. So they've got to push the dog away from the other entrance. We don't want to go around the wrong way. Nice running contact. Coming around now to the KC herd. Another back change coming up now. There we go. No problem to the back change. It wants them to drop it. They get faulted. It is very much like athletics. We've got Sophie in now. Sophie Grove working Woody at Jack Russell. Seven years of age. And again, they're on the A-frame. They're rocking and rolling into that tunnel. It's looking nice at the moment, nice and smooth. Bit of a white turn, we're back into the tunnel number nine. Working our way now towards the weaves. We're in the weaves, no problem there for Woody at all. Skipping along nicely. She's stopping side Sophie is to pull the dog around towards this wall number 14. Coming now across there in the middle. She swaps sides again. She's trying to catch me out here. We're on the seesaw. Coming round towards the tunnel again, far side again. Dog walk coming up, we've got three to go. Come on, come on Sophie, come on Woody. One to go now, the Kennel Club hurdle. We've got another back change coming up, here we go. Last one in the team, Darcy Shears, working Ritzy. A Norwich Terrier across Toy Poodle. What a cute little dog, I could take this home with me. Eight years of age as well. What a lovely little dog. It's a good turn on there, nice tight turn, okay. It's a smaller dog. But if you look at it go around the wings, it's a really tight turn because it's nice and small. Superstar to the run, she's going to swap sides from behind the dog, calling around to the wall number 14. We're up onto the seesaw, she's going to swap sides again. Nicely done by Darcy. Can we have our first team go clear? I don't like to say too much, I'm going to move out of the way. Dog walk coming up, here we go. Come on, come on Darcy, come on Ritzy. Yes! Okay, it probably doesn't, it looks easy, doesn't it? It's not that easy, and I can tell you now, to get four clears, that was superb. Third time in my commentating history that I've ever commentated. I'm going to pass you over to Kate now, and Kate's got team number two. Well, they did make it look easy, didn't they, after saying that it's not easy to get four clears. Wow, that was a brilliant start, so the bar has been set. This is a Jelly Beans hashtag STDC. So, first to go, Donna Lewis with Flora, Chinese Crested Puff, Powder Puff. Flora, this is. She goes under the little name of Flora Flormoth. You can have a, have a look why. Wow, look at her go. Oh, she just missed the A-frame. Oh, and went in that tunnel. Ah. So that's an elimination there, unfortunately. Picks up 100 uh, forts. She's got no idea she's been eliminated. She's going to carry on. Look at that. Wow, look at those 
Queens, ladies and gentlemen, I think that deserves a round of applause. They were pretty cool. Coming down to that seesaw. Oh, squeaking as she goes round. Come on, Flora. Yeah, nicely over there. Well done. And we take the baton from Wendy. This is well, Wendy Gilpin with Spook, Cavalier King Charles. Palinka, spell maker. So, all still to play for, because we just don't know what the other teams are going to do. So, we're on 100 falls, uh, sorry, 105 falls at the moment. As we go round, down into the weaves. Come on, Spook. She said, I'm going to make sure I get it right. Oh, Spook said, no, I don't want to go back. I'm going to take the jump first. So, that is an elimination, I'm afraid. So, that's uh, 100 falls gets added to the score. So we're on 200 at the moment as we come through the tunnel and up onto the dog walk. Nicely over there, turning right and taking the baton from Amanda. This is Amanda Speaks with Jack the Poodle. Lolling Action Man. Oh, he's got a big jump. I'm going to make sure I don't take any of those poles down. Into the tunnel. This dog is actually 10 years old, so uh, that really does tell you, you know, agility keeps you fit, keeps us fit, keeps the dogs fit. And uh, dogs can enjoy agility well into their senior years. I'm not suggesting he's in his senior years, though, obviously. Uh, so come round into the tunnel. Come on, Jack. Onto the dog walk. Gets the contacts, turns right, lovely turn there, well done. And this is Julia Durrant. Oh, this is Russell, the crossbreed. Russell's going to make a noise all the way around. Oh my goodness, wow. That was an impressive A frame, wasn't it? Oh, he's gone the wrong way, unfortunately. That's uh, elimination. Never mind. I'm sure Russell's going to have his moment in the main arena. Look. He's got no idea he's been eliminated. He's just going to enjoy himself. Into the tunnel. Come on, Russell. Onto the dog walk. Wonderful. And over the final jump. Well done, girls. Gals, I should say. Ladies. Uh, three eliminations, meaning 300 uh, faults and a total of 305. Still four clears to beat. Right, are you ready for this? Here we go. All the way from Scotland. It's the XL Dog Agility Originals. They're all original. So, always great stuff for Scottish fans here. They make, uh, make my day as far as noise goes, but I know other, the, other, the other countries as well also support them as well. Right, first to go, Pamela Lawson, working Spy, Parsons Jack Russell Terrier, 11 years of age, Spy's fourth time at Crufts, she's been in the small team before, as you can see he's a little bit of a yapper, like a lot of them are, not a problem with that at all. So, nice start, she swaps sides nice to there, Pamela, so she's on the side there to pull the dog towards the tunnel, we're back in the tunnel again, now a little bit of legwork up towards the weeds. Now obviously it's advantageous if you can weave your dog on your right hand side, which you can. Some people can't, some people can. Years ago you never used to, but now you do. Round of 14, the wall, no problem there. Seesaw coming up, swapping sides again. And working away round towards the dog walk, up to the tunnels first, but just got a refusal there. So five volts at the moment, just went to go in and step back, so we get five volts refusal. It could, uh, it's not a problem there at all at the moment. And the bad change coming up now to Derek Elms. We've got Derek in working, Bugsy. Crossbreed, four years of age, once was rescued at six weeks old, second year competing in the small teams. It's got a bit of a fox like look, I like the colours. So, into the tunnel. So at the moment they've got five volts on their score sheet. That's not a problem at all. Obviously we need the Aridia world to want certain teams to have clear rounds. But with faults they can still be placed for presentation in a bit. Obviously when this finishes there will be a presentation. Stay with us for that, you're most welcome to. So at the moment they're flowing nice, nice flowing course around. 
across to 16. We need the tunnel entry now, no problem there at all. So, dog walk. Punty working nicely over the dog walk to the back chains then for the third handler. Third handler is Nicola Liddell, working Bray. Parsons, Jack Russell Terrier again, six years of age. Bred by Nicola, which makes them very special. You see, if you're running your own dog, it's a big thing. So again, another little trappy terrier, as I call them. Plenty of herbal, quick speak to mum. We're in the weeds coming up now. In the weeds, no problem on the entry there whatsoever. Come on, mum, which way are we going? So swap inside round for the IAMS hurdle. Onto the, over the wall, we're on the seesaw now, she's going to swap on the front side, she is. And Nicola swaps sides again, swap inside to direct the dog into that tunnel. So again, nice steady run, picks up the speed down the dog walk, just with the back feet there, Jackie's happy with that, our judge. And here she goes, the anchor lady, we've got Michelle, working Pinto toy poodle, seven years of age. It's almost like a blue bird, isn't it? There we are. Up over the A-frame. Watch the ears go. Watch the ears. Round the jump. Back into the rigid tunnel again, working towards those weaves. Pinto working nicely. Going, oh, super set of weaves. Picks up the dog nicely. They're working towards the I am hurdles. Grey handling. Super turns. Cross to the seesaw again. She's ahead of the dog there. So into the tunnel. We've got still got five volts at the moment. Oh! We're in, so we didn't break the line at the entrance of the tunnel. Jackie's happy with that. Running contact, go on the command with a big round of applause. Yes! Five volts for the XL Dog Agility Originals, and Scotland will be proud. So we're still looking to beat four clear rounds in a time of 187-189. That bar has been set. So our last team went in second place with five faults. Another cracking round. So here we go with our next team. This is Framor Dinky Dogs. Yay! Brought your fan club. Brilliant. So we're hopefully we're going to cheer them all the way around. This is Radley, the miniature schnauzer. Settle on the best. Oh, he's done a bit of a detour there. Took a look at his public, make sure they're watching him. So, he just wasted a little bit of time there. Check, 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 check. Come, come, come. Check, Didn't come. incur any faults at all. So he's a miniature schnauzer, nine years old. Yeah. Also loves canny cross. Here we go. Down. Do the seesaw. Ready? Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Into the tunnel. On to the dog walk. Yes, well done. Takes the baton from Rachel. Rachel Bradshaw. And Denham. This is a Sheltie, three years old. Shanmi Stormy Blue. Can we get another four clear rounds? Into the tunnel. Turning right in, back into the tunnel. Here we go. Into the weaves. Very nicely through there, turning sharp left. Keep going through the arms jumps. Oh! Picks up five and elimination. Unfortunately, that was the wrong way around that uh, jump combination. That's such a shame. So we're on 105 forks as the 100 forks gets added to the score for the elimination. And we take the button from Linda. This is Linda Spencer with Poppy. Oh, so got eliminated, I'm afraid. So that's for a back jump. Taking the jump the wrong way, unfortunately it resulted in the elimination. So we've got two eliminations, so we're on 205 forts. Here we go, into the final straight as we come along that dog walk. 
very nicely done. And we take the baton from Karen. This is Karen Boardman with Fleet. Another miniature schnauzer, three years old. And Gala's Pico's Flint. First time at Crufts. Nicely into those weaves and out to the other end. Giving a little bark there. Oh, that wasn't in the plan either. <laughs> nice manoeuvre though. Uh, but unfortunately that does pick up an elimination. So, total of three eliminations, I believe. And uh, a total of 3.05, I think, on the scoreboard. So, well done, guys and ladies. Um, remember, ladies and gentlemen, to keep putting your messages on the Twitter. That's hashtag Croft Screen. Hashtag Croft Screen, and your messages will appear on the cube in the centre of the arena throughout the day. No rude ones, please. Okay, oh my word, I've got another Scottish team. So, so we've got the Scottish Shetland Sheepdog Club. I have to be slow saying that one. And our first uh, member to go on the team is Margaret, Margaret Graham, working with Dougie Shetland Sheepdog, five years of age. Says Dougie's very fast and I often get left behind, but I'm sure she'll be working with from behind the dog, no problem at all. He then gets frustrated, resulting in flying contacts and making up his own course. Well, it's a nice start at the moment for them. Why would they pull the dog to the left hand side? No! No, no, no! Okay, she was in the right place, Margaret. There, obviously, Dougie there spotted the right hand side of the tunnel. So they're looking at Mum to see where Mum was. And there uh, we've got an elimination in the rigid tunnel, which is a shame. But, as you've already seen, from the previous teams, they've had eliminations as well. So, an elimination of one with three clears, for instance. Mine just get them through, you never know to a place. We shall see, time will tell us. Up on the seesaw, Margaret cut it behind. Don't be quite happy with that, some dogs don't like it when you go behind when you're on a piece of contact equipment, but he's got no problem at all. So, dog walk coming up, let's see if he gets the contact. He's running night, no, he's slowed down, he's waiting for Margaret. Nicely executed, beautifully done. Across the finishing line for a back change. Next in, we should have Lynn. Lynn Armour, working with Jenna. Shepherd sheep dog, obviously, again, they're all shepherd sheep dogs. Eight years of age. First agility dog. Began competing in 2013 when we won into grade seven in 2017. Also completed rally, even has some red rose extra green shows. Yeah, the dog with a lot of different things that it does. It's working steadily at the moment, across towards the weeds. We're having a quick look. I like the red carpet, Mum. There we are, we're in the weeds, we're off. We're away. Okay, so round towards the IM hurdles in the middle. So we need a right and a left and a left and a right. Over the wall, seesaw coming up. We're going to cut behind. We're going to that bit of encroach to get across to the tunnel now, so she goes to the right end of the tunnel. Yes, we're away. Dog walk coming up here with you. Speed's picked up a little bit there, like a dog walk. Nice and executed dog walk, coming to the back chains now. Which is to Yvonne. So Yvonne Grenfell working Ellie. Looks like we had a refusal there, an obstacle of one. 10 on the 27th of March, so it's nearly birthday time. It's a dream to qualify Ellie for Crafts, will be the first for both of us. So we've got to get used to that experience. It is a, a mammoth thing to do to get a dog to come in here and uh, work on a carpet. It is a superb carpet. Best uh, floor in the dogs to work that I've ever seen here in the main arena. Obviously, normally you'd be outside, possibly competing on grass, indoors over the winter months, an indoor riding school, for instance, different in service altogether. And this is flowing nicely. Ellie working nicely, and also with one at the same time as well. Big experience when you've never been here before, so the sound, and the noise, the lights, the commentators, for instance, and all that kind of thing. So again, speed picking up slightly on the contact there on the dog walk. Nice command for the right command there. 
And our anchor lady is Emma, Emma Piri, working for Fern. She, she got obviously again, seven years of age, sweet, fun loving little dog who loves and they both love competing. Managed to complete the Dizzy Heights of Grade 7, which is uh, up the top there. And we can't wait to compete in crusts. So again, nice flowing start at the moment, they've got 105 faults. So we also have a little bit of work towards the end of the week. She's on the far side, you can see she's going to turn the dog now. So she loses a little bit of time there. Swapping sides now, round to the wall, which is number 14. Up on the seesaw, she's going to swap sides, handle it, beautifully done. Into the rigid tunnel, 120 volts at the moment. And we've got time volts clicking on as well. So a nice contact, big round of applause as they come across the finishing line there for the Scottish Shetland Sheepdog Club. And I think that goes into third. Third place. Okay, so next on the line. 